everybody. My name is Maya Joy Kana, and I am a psychic who's on a mission to help everyday people achieve true love. In today's video, I am going to be providing some relationship advice for people with their North Node in Leo. So how do you know if your North Node is in Leo? Your North Node is in Leo if your birthday falls within the following dates. First, if you were born between June 11th, 1961 and December 23rd of 1962. Second, if you were born between January 13th of 1980 and September 24th of 1981. Or finally, if you were born between October 21st of 1998 and April 9th of the year 2000. If this is your North Node, congratulations! This is going to be a very fun lifetime for you. My first bit of advice for you is very simple if you have your North Node in Leo, and that is to wear the color gold. And I wore a little bit of gold today in my scarf. Hopefully you can see it. I wore it in support of all of you. My second piece of advice is to choose the heart over the mind. You probably have a very well-developed mind that is very attuned to researching and thinking things through before acting. But in this lifetime, you are here to just listen to your inner child and listen to your heart and just go with what your heart wants without needing to think everything through. Speaking of the mind, you'll want to learn to quiet your mind and you'll want to figure out what activities help to bring a sense of calm to your mind because overthinking can be a real challenge for you. A good little mantra for you is, my passion is greater than my distractions. When in doubt, always choose in favor of what brings you to life and makes you feel passionate rather than the things that you may use to distract yourself. Next, ask your partner to help you to try new things, especially creative things and recreational things and fun things. Try a whole bunch of new things with your partner because you might just discover your hidden talent or your hidden passion. Next, choose a partner who sparks your creativity. Think of happiness as the northern pointing arrow on your compass. You always want to act in favor of what's going to bring you happiness right now rather than thinking about you know making sacrifices for something that might bring you happiness later stay here with us stay in the now moment and ask yourself what little thing can I do to feel more happy to feel more joyful to feel more passionate and to feel more creative right now. A lot of times this is going to mean taking a really, really playful or spontaneous approach with your partner and that's right on track. Also, be you. Be yourself. You are unique and you are amazing and you are powerful and you are special. Be you. Some people with this placement can find themselves just wanting to perform a role. They want to just be what they think it means to be the perfect husband or wife or the perfect girlfriend or boyfriend. Don't be the perfect partner. Be the perfect you. Next, ask yourself, what am I trying to build in this relationship? What is the big picture that I'm aiming for with my partner? Try not to get too pulled into the small details, but always think about the bigger picture. Develop a really, really clear vision for your relationship. And when in doubt, consult that vision and consult that big picture and ask yourself, what's going to bring me closer to that big picture objective with my partner right now? Additionally, practice giving and practice being really, really generous and learn to feel really, really good about giving to your partner. Try to give them a gift, for example, just for the sake of seeing them smile. Give for the sake of giving. Of course, you don't want to give more than what you're comfortable with, but you want to learn to give really, really freely without expecting anything in return. You're going to create a lot of positive vibes in your relationship by 
by being super, super generous. Speaking of giving, give of your emotions as well. Give a lot of love to your partner. Help them to feel confident. Help them to feel recharged. Be very emotionally giving. Think of it as a very real objective to see your partner being happy and laughing and having a good time. That is going to be the metric of success for both of you. In general, you want to always choose emotional solutions to your problems rather than practical solutions. So if you encounter a relationship problem, ask, how can we feel better about this rather than What's the practical solution to our problem? And finally, don't put off having fun. Have fun right here, right now, and learn to let your inner child out to play and to be really, really childlike with your partner. This is going to be an amazing way to come into vibrational alignment and to create beautiful memories together. If you have enjoyed the wisdom of this video, I encourage you to read this book right here, Cosmic Love by Jan Spiller. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!